On the guard, post the colors. Appreciate it. Oh. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we have fifth grade students who will be singing the national anthem, and the national anthem will be sung by Micah Lane, Camilla Locke, Allegressi Makuda, and Bella Prince. Jack Parks. ceremony and this year our flag is flown in honor of Chief Petty Officer George Davison Sr. U.S. Navy who served in World War II. So congratulations and thank you. Uh, good morning and welcome to our school this morning everybody. I'd like to welcome our Thompson students, our Thompson staff, parents, North Andover Public Schools district leadership, community members, and a special warm welcome to all of our veterans in attendance this morning. Before I continue, yes, go ahead, boys and girls. You may be here. Before I continue, um, I have a special recognition this year. Uh, as you know, uh, Ms. Donna Dragset serves as the music teacher at Thompson Elementary and she works super hard uh, in conjunction with other staff members on this program each and every year. I am letting you know that Ms. Dragosits will be retiring at the end of this year after 15 years in the North End of Republic Schools. I wanted us all to recognize her dedication to North Andover, to Thompson, to the students, and we're honored that she will be marching in the Veterans Day Parade this year on Monday alongside our Thompson fifth graders. So can we give Ms. Dragasitz a hearty round of applause? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I had that question. Yeah. So again, I want to welcome everybody this morning. 
And um, I want to uh, let you know that this ceremony each and every year is an annual tradition that I was proud to take over as principal when I began five years ago. This morning, we're honored to recognize all of our veterans in attendance. And boys and girls, I think it's important that you know that while some veterans wear a uniform because they're currently serving active duty in the United States and around the world, some of our veterans have served their time and they're currently working as teachers, engineers, police officers, delivery drivers, chefs, and many other jobs throughout the United States of America. This morning I want to let you know that we appreciate your service, your dedication to our country, and the sacrifices you make on the battlefield, and the time you spend away from family, friends, and loved ones. This year, I decided to ask a few students about the qualities of a veteran. And here are just a few things that some of our Thompson students said. One student said, to be a veteran means you need to be brave because soldiers have lots of courage. Another student said, to be a veteran, you need to be really patient because you may be gone from your family for a really long time. And this student also added, and that's pretty sad, I'm sure, sometimes. Another student said, I think it means respect. Respect for your country and respect for your fellow soldiers. That's the quality of a veteran. One of our students said, I think it means protecting the United States and our freedom so hopefully we won't have to fight wars in the future. And finally, during our welcome to this program, I wanted to leave you with a quote that's inscribed on the dedication stone at the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C., which has held a lot of special meaning for me. Our nation honors her sons and daughters who answered the call to defend a country they never knew and a people they never met. So again, this morning we welcome you and we honor you and we hope you enjoyed what we put together for you this morning. Thank you. At this time, we have a special recognition, and I'd like to welcome up Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Greg Gilligan. Thank you, Mr. Raymond. Good morning, students. How are we doing today? Good. Outstanding. Uh, on behalf of the entire school system, I want to welcome all veterans here today. It's a very special day. And uh, we couldn't be more proud of your sacrifice, selflessness, uh, and not only to the veterans, but to the families of veterans, because uh, the sacrifices that families make while people are serving in our armed forces is pretty remarkable, too. Um, as has been our tradition, yes, uh, Ms. O'Neill, here we go. Um, every Veterans Day for probably almost a decade now, um, we honor someone as part of this ceremony. And uh, really fitting, I think, the school's named after someone named uh, Albert E. Thompson. And Albert E. Thompson grew up at 60 Waverly Road, just down the street past uh, Maple Ave, second house in. The house is no longer there. There's a, another house that replaced it probably in the 1960s or so. But Private Albert E. Thompson um, gave his life fighting for the, our country in World War I, three months shy of his 17th birthday. 16 years old, and he's actually buried out at Chateau Thierry, about an hour east of Paris. Um, so I think it's really fitting on this day that we're honoring veterans to uh, mention Private Albert E. Thompson. But on this day, we want to honor uh, the private Albert E. Thompson School, as well as the district, um, someone who passed this last April 15th of 2019, um, but served this nation uh, in, with uh, meritorious service, 
sacrifice and bravery during the Vietnam War, and that is uh, Thomas H. Barnes, and I know he has grandkids here, or maybe there's one left now, Corey. Um, and if the family of um, Thomas Barnes could come up. from Ms. Bebo, Ms. Erzos, Ms. Thurston, and Ms. Rudelski's classes. Thank you, Leilani, that was excellent. 
At this time, I'd also like to welcome up Liam Callahan to the front, and he is going to read to you um, his essay. He was the essay contest winner this year, which was a topic proposed by our librarian, Ms. Courtney Hearn, and the topic this year was a response to the In Flanders Field um, reading. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, students. Staff, guests, and veterans. My name is William Callahan. I would first like to say thank you to all the veterans here and the ones all around the U.S. who have served our country. I have come to understand the famous one to you from Family Handy Fair, the torch that you to hold it high, expressed by John McCray, who is putting us in a position of service. This poem, The Flanders Field, is a symbol of hope to all the young people out there who do not know that in their future they may be able to get the torch high. In other words, when children serve hard and long, until they fall on board fighting for the better of our country, they give us the, the opportunity to serve this great country. We must, keep it, we must keep on serving for the place we call home. But maybe there are more ways to hold up the torch other than serving in the military, being a good citizen, voting for tennis that will push this country to its best, even making veterans as you see every day. And believe me, there are probably a lot of people that you do not know are veterans. There are other things you can do every day or you can spend your whole life on holding up the torch. You may not see so, but it is very well likely that you can do some of those things right here in town. For example, you can write to all those soldiers serving right now, or you can take a moment to think about what it would be like if no one in our country showed certain. You can take part in assemblies like today. You could also share respect to your father and your But some people are willing to put their whole lives into holding the torch. For example, my grandfather shared this in the news. We think of him as a hero, even though he's in the United States. Or my great uncle who served in the, for the United States Army and served in the Vietnam War. He sent soldiers in each war to fight for our country. Or my other great uncle, who was a paratrooper in World War II. All of these people held the torch by fighting for our country and sacrificing for others. At the end of the poem, the last line to read, If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep. What this line is saying is that if you do not contribute in your service to our country, they will disappoint the veterans who pass the war and they will not bless people. So that is the inspiration to help us honor the veterans' work and do our best to keep holding the torch.
before we continue, on behalf of Thompson School and the North End of the Public Schools, Superintendent Gilligan and I, I'm very proud and honored to have all of the high school students down this morning. I know you have a lot to do. Um, maybe help with a lot, I'm not sure. Um, but thank you for coming down. We were overwhelmed that so many of you wanted to come today, and that was beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, we're going to be doing a PowerPoint presentation on veteran service, and it is going to be narrated by our fifth grade students, Marissa Burke and Ava Denton. Of the 11th month in 1918. 
and the result, Veterans Day is observed on, 11, on November 11th to preserve the historical significance of this day. How can we thank our veterans? Currently, there are more than 24 million veterans who have served in the United States Armed Forces. It's quite likely that you know someone who is a veteran. Talk to a veteran and hear about those who helped shape American history. Why is it important to say thank you? Veterans are always working to keep us safe, every day, every night, and even holidays. They are away from their families and safety to protect us. Our debt to the heroic men and valiant women in this service of our country can never be repaid. They have earned our undying gratitude. America will never forget their sacrifices. Honor our veterans. Veterans are responsible for maintaining peace and all the freedom that we as Americans enjoy every day. Remember all these brave men and women who have women have done for us to get for us to give us our freedoms. Salute to our veterans. Take a moment and reflect on all the sacrifices that these veterans have made to ensure freedom for all. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, Marissa and Ava. Very great job. Thank you. Um, at this time, we're going to present America's White Table under the direction of Mrs. Robinson, our EL teacher, and Ms. Foster, our guidance counselor. And today, we will have grade four students, Landon, Ran Land excuse me, Landon Randall, Fabio Rosario Campusano, Danielise Acevedo, Brandon Noyce, Kaylee Brown, Olivia Knight, Addison Bauer, James Carroll, Ben Milia, and Callie O'Leary. Every day in the military dining halls everywhere in the world, there is a special table covered with a white tablecloth to honor those soldiers who are missing in action or prisoners of war. Fourth graders would like to share that custom in the future. We use a small table to show one soldier's only battle against many enemies. We cover it with a white cloth to honor our soldier's pure heart when he answers his country's call to duty. We place a lemon slice on a plate to show a captive soldier's bitter fate. And salt on a plate represents the tears of families waiting for their loved ones to return. We push in an empty chair to the table for the missing soldiers who are not here. We lay a black napkin for the sorrow of captives. We turn over the glass for the meal that won't be eaten. white candle for peace, which we all hope for. Finally, a red rose in a vase tied with a red ribbon for the hope that all our missing will return someday. This is America's White Table. Great job, fourth graders. Thank you very much. You guys look great today, by the way. At this time, we're going to do uh, sing-alongs, the four ballads of the armed services under the direction of Miss Dragositz, our music teacher in the North End of our high chorus and band. Um, helping Miss Dragositz today will be second place Veterans Day essay contest winner, Riley Davis. For over 200 years, the American women of our armed services have defended the United States and 
continue to keep a vigilant watch over our Creating in 1775, the Army, Continental Navy, and the Navy participated in every war since the American Revolution. Our current Air Force originated in 1907 as the Aeronautical Division of the Army Signal Corps, and was later named the Army Air And finally, the United States Air Force after World War II. The death of our country as a nation of these with this tremendous song, let us remember those who have fallen by standing on your service on the floor. And let us all join in singing the last measures of America the Beautiful of this American Hero Story.
boys and girls, thank you, Mr. Aggie Sitz and everyone, and thank you, Riley. Uh, excellent job. Uh, so, boys and girls, uh, the other day I mentioned to you that there will be um, a song during the presentation that we rise, but we quietly rise and we quietly sit back down. There will be no cheering. So, at this time, could everybody please rise for the playing of taps? school today. Uh, not only is Thompson uh, named after Private Albert E. Thompson, who Dr. Gilligan spoke about earlier. Um, in addition, lots of us here at Thompson who work here, um, we have sons, daughters, uh, we have fathers, mothers, uh, grandparents who also served in the military. As, you, as many of you know, my father who passed away last year was in the Air Force and it was a special time in his life. Um, that was one of his most meaningful times of his life when he served in the Air Force. So, on behalf of all of us here at Thompson, we want to thank you for your dedication, your courage, your service to our country in protecting us and keeping us safe. And um, I would be remiss if I didn't give some special thanks to all of the Thompson staff members and students, boys and girls, you did a great job. First graders, this is a lot of sitting for you this morning and you did an excellent job. Um, a few special thanks uh, to Maria Rogers, our art teacher, who decorated the cases, which you can take a look at on your way out of the gym today. Um, I'd like to thank our EL teacher, Ms. Robinson, and our guidance counselor, Ms. Foster, for practicing the America's White Table with our grade four students. Um, I want to thank Mr. Hernan Librarian for organizing our essay topic. Ms. Fredzi Mayu, our technology um, assistant, for helping with the PowerPoint today. Um, Ms. Dragosits for coordinating the music, and um, finally, but certainly not least, Ms. O'Neill for all her hard work, and behind the scenes, making phone calls to community members, to families, and getting our program ready for this morning, um, and to our custodian, Kenny Long, for all his setup at the gym this morning. Um, so at this time, could we have just our veterans stand for a round of applause so we can recognize you? service and dedication to our country and thank you everybody for coming out this morning. 
Have a wonderful day and a good long weekend. Thank you.